all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we're taking a look at the short block here behind me uh, we're gonna get ready to resurface the head on that I'm gonna show you guys how I do it with the block uh, already assembled the short block already assembled so uh, we got a couple of sanding blocks we've made up uh, we're going to start it off with about 80 grit uh, remove the bulk of the material we need to and then we're going to go to a finer grit uh, 180 and then I might finish it off with a 320 320 is probably overkill but I might do it anyway uh, I'm using a Felpro Pro 1094 gasket and on that gasket in particular it's pretty thin and it's one layer steel so I want to make sure the maintenance surfaces are real good so anyway uh, step one pack the rags in the hole um, step two is going to be to remove these dowel pins uh, I got two of them on each side we'll have to remove those and then after we get those removed we're going to go ahead and start with the sanding so stay with me we're going to get it going Wow. Okay, guys. Had to drill it <laughs> and mangle it. But we finally got one out. One down, one to go. Hopefully the rest don't go that hard. But anyway, we're going to keep after it. Alright guys, so after quite a bit of surgery here, uh, we managed to get out that dowel pin and that one successfully. So we're ready uh, to get some WD-40 on the surface. Well, actually, I'll probably scrape it a little bit first to try to get any um, heavy stuff off that we can with the scraper. And then uh, once we scrape it, we'll spray it with some WD-40 and then we'll come through and we'll start the sanding process trying to resurface this thing. So let's get it. Alright guys, so um, I just wanted to give you a, a heads up. We lost some of the footage on this one um, from actually resurfacing this, the deck on the block. Um, what I did, I just took these three boards that I made up back here and I put 80, 120, and 320 grit on it. Um, ran them back and forth across the surface and kept checking it with the feeler gauges to make sure we were right about two thousandths or like the two thousandths didn't want to slip under. So we are pretty flat there. Um, but unfortunately I lost a lot of that so I did I just wanted to let you know all right so we got our feeler gauge here to get the two thousandths out two thousandths feeler gauge let's put our straight edge down on it all right so we got our two thousandths feeler gauge we got our straight edge doesn't want to go under there doesn't want to go under there. Good there. Good there. All right. So we want to check it across diagonally. See if I can get it to stand there pretty good. Seems good there. Doesn't want to go under there. Not there. Not there. It's just barely wanting to go under right there. All right, so a little bit there. That's pretty flat guys. I feel pretty happy with that. Um, 
Now we just got to get the finish right on it. I'm going to take it down to a 55 RA finish, which is like 55 micron. Um, I've actually got a stone coming. It's like a knife sharpening stone that's uh, made to do 45. It said the gasket calls for a 55 minimum. So we're going to take and do that with it. Um, just kind of lightly go over everything and get the finish in there where we want it at. So uh, that's the game plan on that one. Uh, now, before I flip it and do the other side, we got to take and chase all the head bolt holes out. Um, I'm going to take, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the longer stock bolts because we're going to go back with head studs. So I'm going to take one of the longer stock bolts and I'm going to cut a slot in it so we can use it to chase the hole. And uh, anyway, let's get to it. All right, we got a new paper on our board now. So um, let that set up real good. Go in and eat, uh, eat a little supper. We'll come back out after, and then we'll be ready for to make another run at the uh, deck of this block. All right. So now, now we're going to take this head bolt and we're going to cut a little slot in the threads, just like that. Plug this light in and get a little better view. So then we're going to take this head bolt. We're going to cut a little slot right in the threads so that way when we chase it down in there it will give somewhere for the debris to get. A little warm but and you can see we got the groove on each side I'm going to hit that real quick on this little wire wheel, clean that up. Alright, so there you can see it, got it cleaned up. Uh, I should make a good little thread chasing tool, we're going to go over there and try it out. You can see it, but we pulled a bunch, a bunch of junk out of the threads there. So yeah, thread. This will work really good for our thread chasing tool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest, and we'll be good to go. Actually, I'll probably wait. I just want to try it out real quick. I got to do the uh, final uh, finish on this with the fine grit paper. And then once we get that done, then I'll chase them all out. But anyway, that's our tool, guys. Pretty cool. All right, so now that we got the other side done, we flipped the motor around. We're going to get ready to get the dowel pins out on this side. Then we'll scrape it. We'll hit it with the one, uh, sorry, with the 80 grit. And then the 120. Um, and we'll alternate back and forth side to side so that way we can try to save from having to reset the paper a couple of times. Okay, so we got a center punch in pretty good. Tapped it a few times. Should help break it loose. We'll grab a penetrating oil, help lubricate the bit, and also get down in there and uh, break the bond between the two. That's how we want to do it. 
other one did not cooperate. <laughs> pins are out officially. Razor blade, clean surface. I don't honestly think this thing has moved very much. Go under maybe a hair, maybe. On that one end. So we'll bring it down just a, a little bit. And it should get us where we want to go. Alright, get all that out of the way. Alright guys, so it's the next day, we're back out. Uh, we got the block surface finished out last night um, on both sides. Got it under the 55 RA that the gas uh, that the gasket wants, according to Felpro. Uh, so we're going to now take our chase tool that we made and go ahead and chase all the threads for the head studs, and we'll get ready to throw those in. Well, uh, quite a bit of stuff. So we got a new set of head studs, 12 point nuts, and washers. Get ready to see if we can't put these things in here. Alright guys, so we got the studs on the engine um, and all the holes. That'll keep us from getting any extra debris down in the holes since we've already chased them out um, while we're waiting on the heads to get here. I mean not the heads, but the uh, valves for the heads. Uh, once we get those in, then we can slap it back together. That's kind of the goal is to get the short block ready for when the valves get here. Everything can go back together, final assembly, and then go back in the car. So... Um, I'm getting ready to flip the block over. I'm going to snatch the oil pan back off of it. And I'm going to go, I got a little bit of work I want to do to the oil pump itself. I'm going to put a high pressure spring in it. And I'm probably going to try to like, just take some sandpaper or something in there and kind of clean up the edges a little bit. Nothing major, just, just get everything kind of optimized. Um, so that's the plan. I'm going to keep at it guys. So, all right, guys, so that's going to do it for us on this one. I appreciate you guys tuning in again. Um, next week, I think we're going to do um, go the overview on um, what we did to the oil pump to get that where we want it. And then hopefully in the next week, we will be putting the motor together and have it all back situated and maybe possibly even in the car. That would be awesome. Um, ready to start doing a little tuning and make a couple of rips on it. So... All right, um, stay tuned, guys. Again, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already done so, comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.